What's up? It's your girl, Chaotic Wolfos, in the house. We're back at it again with week seven this time. And we are building our new team for Bonds and the Edmonton Excadrilles. So, without further ado, let's get into our team build, as you can see on the screen. We're going to start with one of our leads that we're probably going to bring for the lead, which is Ambu. We got a Lucario with a life orb. Our Lucario. Ah, oh, sorry. It's hard to hold this phone at an angle. Our Lucario is here because, yeah, Lucario is just a good mon in general. But it says that Fighting Steel, which for Bun's team, Fighting does a lot, of, is a lot, and Steel is a lot for this because he. I'm bad at team building explaining, but it can take down the Hatterene G-Max if, if we need it. It can take down the NDD. It can take down Luzicant. It can take down Decidueye. It can take down a Cineroar, maybe. Just depends. Taking down that Zumarill. It can handle Luxury. It can handle Stonejourner. It can handle Skullpeed. It can handle the Molga. It can handle the Cicino. Cicino. And the Rotom Frost as well. So basically it's a good mod to have all around. And this one is justified. I was going to go with Inner Focus, but then I thought he has a lot of uh, dark type moves on his team. So if he, just to be cheeky, if he decided, ah, oh, I'm going to hit this one with dark type move. Just boost my attack. Thank you very much. This one is running max speed and max attack with the four special defense. This one is also jolly natured. To raise its speed even more, we are running close combat, extreme speed, blaze kick, and meteor mesh. Meteor mesh is for the stab, plus the a lot of his team is pretty weak to steal. And close combat is there for stab, and a lot of his team is weak, weak to fighting as well. Blaze kick is there to handle the bugs, and then the ice frost, and just there is coverage along with the extreme speed. Is there? Just in case we need to get an attack off really quickly to survive or whatnot. And yeah, I thought Lucario would be a bit of a good pick. I'm probably gonna lead with Lucario. If I'm being honest, I might lead with Lucario, but there's another mod that I might lead with, and we'll get to that in a second. But our second member on our team, you got it. Our G Max Corv's coming back again. This one is Steelo Girl. Because he's guaranteed to steal your girl. Just a little pun there. Steal logo or girl. Instead of steal go, it's steal low. <laughs> but yeah. Leftovers, rockin' bird. This one is the same as we've been using. This one's an adamant one, mirror armor. Max D Max. 28 HP, 220 attack, 4 defense, 44 special defense, and 212 speed. Just for that. Boost to boost to be a bulky attacking fast burb. Bird go burr. Because he steal your girl. He's gonna be rocking Iron Head, Brave Bird, Tailwind, and Roost. The Tailwind is there to help us get the speed up. Unless he tricks Roost, then we won't use it that, obviously. The Roost is there just in case I want to keep the bird alive a little bit longer if he doesn't G Max or not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna G Max him, it depends. Iron Hair Head and Brave Bird obviously are there for stabs. Iron Head good because as most of his team is weak to uh, steal, as I was mentioning earlier. And the Brave Bird is there to stab and he like to stab. Next on our list is Florida Beach. Uh, if you get that reference, please, please don't die. But Florida Beach. Is rocking the assault vest. She is here cause hell yeah, she could. I needed a ground mon because some of his mons are pretty weak to ground. But um I also wanted to have a ghost mon as well. And she matches both categories. She's calm, water compaction. She is rocking the 128 defense, the 128 special defense, and max special attack with her 
abilities to be bulky. She has Earth Power, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Bomb. Earth Power and Shadow Bomb mostly there for stab and coverage. Giga Drain is the extra coverage, and Sludge Bomb is there just in case we need to get the cheeky little bit of uh, of the poisons. Maybe if we're lucky, I don't know. But she is here, can handle. I know I didn't mention what Corviknight can handle, handle, but obviously Corviknight can't really take down much Skullpeed since, you know, uh, can take on the Whimsicott, can take on the Azumarill somewhat, Decidueye can take down a DD female, depending on the mood it's in, and it can take down Hatterene, but uh, Palisand can take down Hatterene. It can take down a needy, weird, but it can. When was the cut? It can take. It can take Decidueye if I'm lucky. It's just a weird, little weird matchup, but it can take Decidueye. It can take a Cinnaroar down if it's lucky. Like, we have to get really lucky. It can take down the Zumarill, but it's a weird little matchup with the Giga Drain and that. And it has to be, like I said, pretty lucky. It can take down a Luxury, if it's lucky. Take it down the Stone Journer. It can take on Skullpede. It could resist and block a Molga. It can take down the Sensino somewhat. And it can handle Rotom Frost, but... Yeah. It can... Like I said, it can. It's mostly here for extra boost of the defensive because I'm running an offensive defensive team this week bulky defensive etc next up is Tox James Tox my name's Tox James Tox hard toxtricity rocking that throat spray again because he's got to keep his uh, voice up and ready for that big debate Dubu, I can't say right now. I can't speak. Rocking that punk rock. Because he's a punk. The speed maxed. Special attack maxed. And four special defense. Defense. He is timid nature. Raising that speed up and lowering that attack. Because he's a special attacker. In case you haven't noticed, the first two mods were there for physical. These two are supposed to be special attackers. Because I wanted to go with the physical spe special mix. So I'm not crippled by that Intimidate Incineroar. If he brings it. And Tox is rocking the Boom Burst, Overdrive, Volt Switch, and Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave is a little iffy on my part because it attacks both my mons and his mons. So it's there just in case. Like if I decide to pair him up with a. Uh, Corviknight, it doesn't hurt Corviknight, so we can get that off. It doesn't hurt Drapion as bad, so I could cripple Drapion a little bit with the Sludge Wave. So, Tox is gonna be iffy at the Sludge Wave, but it's it's a powerful move that I thought would come in handy. Bolt Switch is there, just in case I need to get a quick switch out. And it's Stab, obviously. Overdrive and Boom Burps are there to activate the Throat Spray and boost that special attack while Overdrive Stab and Boom Burps is probably what I'm going to use to activate the Throat Spray. We shall see. I don't know. We shall see how it goes. But that is Tox. So we're moving on to our next member, which is we just talked about a little bit. Drapion. Isabella. Isabella is rocking Life Orb. She is here to be that bulky, a little bit bulky, gonna be a little bit attacker. She's rocking the battle armor to protect her from crits. Full max speed, full max attack, with four special defense. If you're wondering why I'm using a lot of special defense this week, Buns has got a lot of special attacking mons. So, oh, sorry. Buns is using a lot of special attackers, so the special defense will help. With that split, which I should have made say the next mon differently, but I decided, eh, why not? So, Isabella is rocking knockoff, poison jab, stomping tantrum, and rock slide. Rock slide is there for being able to hit both his moms. 
as well as hopefully getting a cheeky flinch off. Stomping tantrum is there as a ground coverage. So we gonna be able to I would have ran earthquake, but I thought it was too risky. So stomping tantrum it was. Poison jabs there for stab, as long as uh, maybe hoping to get some poisons off on some of his mons to help off cover that a little bit. And knockoff is there just in case I need it for some of his ghost types and his uh, psychic types, as well as trying to get rid of a, an item if I need it to get rid of it. Because sometimes getting rid of an item is the best policy to do it. So, yeah. That is our Drapion. It can handle. Most his team. Luxray can handle Sculpede, maybe. Can handle Molga, it can handle Centino. Can handle Rotom Frost, it can handle Whimsicott. It can handle Incineroar, it's a weird matchup, but it can. It can handle Zermoral, it can handle Decidueye. And it can handle Hitterine and both NDD female as well. So, it's going, it's gonna go decent. And last but not least is our Sableye, Lakeisha. Lokeisha is rocking leftovers. She is uh, more of a defensive one this week, with the careful nature, raising the special defense. She's a little bit obviously prankster, because we gotta have our prankster in there. She's rocking 252 HP, 252 defense, 4 special defense, and 0 IVs in attack. Because she is rocking that foul play. So that might come in handy with his ghost types and his psychic types for a little bit, just in case I need the extra help. She's rocking the helping hand as well to help her team wait, just in case I'm bringing the Lucario out first and lead with the Sableye. Because Sableye is always going to usually be my lead. So swap it out with the maybe Drapion or Lucario with it together. The recovers there just in case I need to keep her alive. And Quash is there. Because, obviously, it would help out, especially if he uses Trick Room. And, yeah, I know it priority gets crippled with the NDD female, so we're going to try to get rid of that Psychic Surge as much as possible. So, yeah, she's careful, Mom. I'm hoping this team does me well. I spent a lot of time thinking about it, planning about it. Sableye doesn't really handle much. It can handle the Sidueye. It can handle NDD. It can handle Hatterene. But... It can handle Sitsino, and can handle Molga maybe, Skullpede maybe, can handle Stone Journer maybe, and Luxray maybe, but Sableye mainly is here to be a support mon, to help us out, support our other team. So that's what Sableye is here for. But I'm hoping this team goes well. I'm predicting he brings, honestly, I think with Buns, He's probably going to bring his Decidueye. Most definitely probably going to bring that G-Max Hatterene and the NDD combo. I'm guessing Incineroar is coming. Azumarill is probably coming. And I think the last one, because I'm pretty sure with the he looks at my team, he's going to probably be like, hmm, I think I should run a slower team. So either Skullpede or Rotom Frost would be the last one I predict come. So... But my, I built my team so they can handle all his 12 mo of his mons. Because I know he could easily bring whatever mons he wants. But I'm, predict I'm honestly predicting he brings his G-Max Hatterene and does some trick room shenanigans. Because if I was him, that's what I would do. But I hope this week goes well. And I'll see you guys in the battle. This is your girl Catacolfo signing off. Stay safe. Keep howling. And stay furious, my friends. Bye!